Hello and welcome to Delicious Simplicity. I'm Anna Trokakis. And on the menu today, we have sushi. And with me, I have Elaine and Lou from Mandarin in Reading. And they're here and going to help us to, um, and show us actually how to make sushi at home here. So what are we going to make today? Um, today, we're going to start with a ginger dressing for a house salad. OK, and mm -hmm. then? And then after that, we're going to do a tuna sesame um, appetizer. And then we're going to show you how to roll different types of sushi. Wow, that's exciting. All right, so let's start with the uh, dressing, the ginger dressing. OK. So for that, we need? Just uh, need a pineapple. OK. And we're going to do all of that in the blender. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're going to do an okay. assembly line yes. here. So here's the blend. Here's the blender. So lots of so we have delicious ingredients. Pineapple. In yeah. Talking about healthy. You know, that's what our show is all about. Being healthy. So, mm. so awesome. So pineapple, and then we're going to add some ginger. Ginger. Great. And that's fresh ginger. Yes. Yeah. Just peeling it. Very good. You peel with the knife. You know, I. That's what I do as well. Great. So we got ginger in here, and then he's going to um. Got it. Some garlic, great. Yeah, <laughs> so you can't go wrong. So far, we have pineapple, ginger, garlic, celery. No, I never would have expected that. Yeah, I think it adds a little flavor to it. And okay, all these ingredients so we'll add our together. Hands. There we go. Some just a, just about a stalk, and you remove the leaves and and the and the white edge at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then some uh, then some carrots. Gonna add some carrots to this as well. Just cutting into smaller chunks for easy blending. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can just go ahead. Yeah, there we go. So just just plain chunks of uh, carrots go in here. Now for some onion. Are you gonna put the onions in? Those go in as well. And so it's just like a, a, a squirt, okay. just a squirt for a little bit of color. Yeah. Just a squirt. Okay. There we go. More, little bit. Little, little more. Bit. Little more. Little bit. Yeah. I'll make. Yeah. There we so go. the ketchup gives it some great color. Just that little color. Yeah. Right. Like soy sauce. Beautiful soy sauce that goes in there. How much is that? About a cup? The cup. Oh, no, cup. well, that, but you don't use a whole cup. Yeah. Just a little bit. So you use about a couple of tablespoons, yeah. I would think. Anything else? A little and oil? Oil. Extra virgin olive oil. And how much of that do we use? Oil. A little bit more. That's it. Let's see if I can. You do like I do, I eyeball things. To me, that looks about a quarter of a cup. Yeah. Is that it? About a quarter of a cup, yeah? yeah. Oh, one more, more thing. More okay. Vinegar. There's more. And what kind is that? Rice There's vinegar? A, yeah, rice, rice vinegar. vinegar. Okay. And let's see if I can guess that. Eh, let's see, to me, that looks about a third of a cup. Yeah. Third of a cup? Yeah, third of a cup. See? There's uh, lemon juice. Lemon juice, okay. There's a uh, salt. Almost a, oh, half a, salt. Half a, half a yeah, teaspoon. half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And and you can put salt as desired. You yeah. can yeah. put less right. if you want. That's sugar. Uh, sugar. 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 A little sugar. sugar. Yeah. Two teaspoons. Two tablespoons. Teaspoons. Yeah. Okay. One tablespoon and a half. Okay, anything else? Yeah, that's it. That's it? Wow. Yeah. Oh. And how long do we blend it for? This is uh, about 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. That long, yeah, okay. Yeah, longer. Yeah. Mm. All right, so mm. this, this looks fairly that. smooth enough, but you already brought yeah. some made. Yeah. yeah. Right? So, okay. And then so we just yeah. put this on the salad. And, and, they, the, ketchup. Uh, and the ketchup. They ketchup. Yeah. And they the color ketchup. come with the ketchup and the curry. Mm, in the so carrot, yeah. yeah. Perfect. A little There's bit of frisé to yeah. garnish that. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah. We can the next we're gonna sesame do a sesame tuna. tuna appetizer. So what are you doing with the with the um, tuna? So you got a, a yeah, strip tuna. of tuna. Yeah. He's yep. gonna sear it. Yeah, sear it. With um, some black sesame. Yeah. And uh, so sesame and uh, black pepper. Oh, sesame and black pepper. Black pepper. Okay, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I mix it together. You mixed it already. Yeah. yeah. Now that's something that anybody can do. Just have it already mixed. Yeah. yeah. And, and then he's gonna coat the steak, steak. the tuna yeah. steak with it. You're gonna you put oil in here? No, no, no oil. No oil. No wow. oil. That's a good. No oil. 
I think it makes the black sesame a little smokier. Yeah. Oh, okay. He actually said that um, any type of fish you can do a similar type of thing. Fresh fish. Fresh. Because we're going to only sear the outside. We're not going to sear yeah. all the way in. Yeah, so, and there's no oils to really cook it. Right, so right, it has right, to right. Be right. Very fresh. Fish. And if you if you were using some other fish, you would put a little bit of oil if you wanted to cook it through. If you want to cook it yeah. through. Yeah. Oh, that's so. So we're sesame, just going to get the outside. So that's, it's going to be. So that's sesame heated. and black pepper. Right. Do you think this is hot enough? Yeah, that that's you it can tell because mm. I you saw can, you earlier going see, like this. Okay. You gonna check Ah, there you go. Tell, tell if it jumps a little bit, then you can it. tell it's, it's ready. Hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do that when I have, or even when I have oil in it. Like I'll yeah. drop a little bit of flour in it, and if it yeah. sizzles, it's ready. I, I heard that. Pop. Yeah, I heard it. There you go. Too. So you want the hot, the pan to be nice and hot. So we're just so trying to give it a little bit of a sear. I can hear that sort of sizzling a little bit. So this will really bring out the smokiness of yeah, the yeah, black yeah. sesame. So you do all four sides? Yes. Yeah, yeah, all four sides. And then we're even going to do the other side. OK, yeah. So all six. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. Six. Yeah. 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 Yeah, ready. Right. So, and you slice it how thin? Yeah, slice it thick. About oh, quarter of an inch? Yeah, quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch thick. Okay. That's a nice, beautiful color. Isn't it? Well, what's the difference between black sesame and regular sesame? No, sesame is, is the stuff they make um, hummus with. Yeah, black sesame is, has a very smoky flavor versus a, a regular sesame, I think, is more a nutty, a lighter, nutty flavor. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look Great. at that. It's beautiful. I know that Asian cuisine or Japanese cuisine, a lot of it is just the presentation. Right. Well, I think Absolutely. actually in any cuisine it's a presentation. So we try to do that here too. Well, it's how things this look. This is made ready, the sesame sauce. Oh, sesame, the sesame sauce. sauce. Sesame sauce is just sesame and a uh, little bit of oil. Sesame, uh, yeah, uh, sesame, vinegar, oil. Vinegar. Oil, vinegar. And a uh, nice soy sauce. Soy sauce. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Okay. In, in sort of a mix. Mix blender. Yeah, blender. in the blender. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a delicious sauce. And that's just uh, that? daikon, radish. Yeah, yeah, daikon, yeah. daikon is that Japanese radish. It's already shredded. And just gonna yeah, when you and when you see it at the supermarket, the daikon, it's like it's long. Yeah. It, al it almost looks like a big carrot, mm -hmm. but it's only white and right, not right. and not uh, not orange. And uh, you've shredded that back when you were getting it ready into right. sort of like rice noodle kind of shape. And he's putting a little bit of topico in there. And this what is, is that? Color. Fish eggs. Oh, okay. For color. Then a little bit color, yeah, how to. Oh, look at that. It's really pretty. All right, so we'll make, put this over to the, uh, yep. at our Starting. dining table for later on. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Can't wait to eat that. <laughs> I know it. Now, is that served temp typically at room temperature or hot or room cold? Temperature. Room temperature. Yeah. Room temperature. Oh, perfect. Oh, look at that. Wow. It looks like Lou's all set for our next dish. So what, what are we doing next? We're going to start rolling sushi. We oh. have a couple of variations. We're going to start with a California maki, which is something very basic like you can find at uh, most sushi restaurants. Um, and then we're going to show you how to make a hand roll um, with spicy tuna in it. OK. And then lastly, we're going to do a little bit twist on sushi. And we're going to use uh, wraps. Oh, wow. Sandwich wraps. All right. Yep. Um, as the outside layer, um, as opposed to seaweed, um, and fill it with a crab salad. We're going to start with the, the maki? California maki. Oh, the California, California maki. maki. Okay. okay. He's going to show us how to slice um, cucumber. You cucumber. just have to see this. I have to show this. Yeah, absolutely. Now, see these? See, the, these are little cucumber strips. And wait till you see how 
Um, the magic happens. Yeah, the <laughs> magic, exactly, definitely magic. So watch closely as Lou shows us how we did this. I don't want to say, but I'm going to say, don't try this at home because that knife is really sharp and if you don't have your fingers away, you could mm -hmm. get in trouble. But, but Lou's going to show us how to do it exactly so we, we can do it at home. Look at that. The skin. So you essentially you remove the skin and yep. then you just cut a little thin layer of, I don't know. All like, around. <laughs> like a 132 of an inch. Oh, that's really very, very slim. Fine, yeah. And then you just cut, cut it into, into like matchsticks. And then use some use water to rinse. Oh, rinse, rinse them out. Them okay. Out. Yep. And what she's already done. Yeah, you've already done that, so we'll yep. keep those on the side. Okay, perfect. So here you have a, a bamboo so mat. A bamboo, a bamboo mat. mat. Now, okay. I, I noticed you earlier, you put this with, in cellophane. This didn't yeah. come in a, like this. It came just plain, and he, and he wrapped cellophane around it. Right. And the reason for that? Is to keep it smooth when you're wrapping. Otherwise, yeah. you would get things into the yeah. oh, okay. It won't stick. In a, in a it and the rice won't stick inside. Yeah, fun. Okay. Fun. So, so here comes oh, this the, the rice. rice. Okay, now yeah. the rice has been cooked. Yeah. Cooked. Um, it's cooled. hot there. So they can put it. You put it right here. Right here. Yeah. There you go. Cook, cooled, um, to room temperature, and then he added vinegar. Rice vinegar. Rice vinegar. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. No vinegar and. Uh, Sense and we'll have the sugar, sugar and uh, salt and salt. So vinegar, sugar and salt. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. So these recipes are going to be on the website, so you can on my website, um, but you can also call the studio and we'll have them available here. So obviously this is a big, huge amount, but yeah. we'll we'll get the recipe down to scale. Okay, so yeah, mm -hmm. so we don't have to feed the whole street. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh -huh. So now, so you've got your. Nori? Well, Nori's the nori, brand name. Yeah. What is that? The nori. Seaweed? No, seaweed. Seaweed. Oh, yep. seaweed? Seaweed. Is it Nori's the brand name, right? Or is it? It's the Japanese name for seaweed. Oh, yeah. for seaweed. Right. Oh, yeah, okay. Japanese. Okay. I wasn't yeah, completely yeah. off. Okay, so uh, about the size of your hand. Okay. So yeah, it's, uh, it's if you're making a snowball. Now, what kind of rice is this? Short this grain. is short, short grain rice. Short grain rice. So you used short here grain. short grain rice, yeah. okay, that you can buy at the local supermarket. Yes. Uh, and the kind of rice that you get from risotto. So you want it to be sticky. Mm. Okay, so. Okay. That so you get so about, about the size, size of your hand. Of your hand, yeah. So leave okay. a little bit of room at the top. So okay. a little yeah, strip, half an about inch. half an inch. Yeah. Yep. Mm. And that's where you're going to lay the rice. And then you're going to push the rice down to the bottom. Oh, okay. So you don't pat it down. You kind of no, like don't, don't. push it. Almost yep, kind of like, like a pie, um, like a, um, a, a pie crust. Mm. And you're spreading that. It's a good that. way to look at it. And then yeah. he pushed to the top as well. Don't, don't press too hard down into it. You don't want the rice to be flattened. Right, right, you want yeah. it to be whole pieces of rice. So, yeah, so you're more just moving it around. Moving it, the rice to around. me, that looks fluffy still. So that's regular sesame. Okay. There's a topico. And then topico again. Oh, beautiful. Look at that orange, bright color. And you're going to flip it around. around. There's a avocado. I'm going to add avocado. I love avocado. Oh, see, that was easy. So you quarter it and then you just kind of twist yeah. it off. Oh, okay. That's a cucumber. So the avocado. They, you, I noticed cucumber. you you're putting the avocados in opposite directions yeah. for a reason yeah. or just what's the reason for that? It, as, as you like. Oh, it's just as for, as like. Okay. So. But you notice he did actually put it pretty straight. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. In terms yeah, of yeah. half and half. Okay. Versus dispersing it randomly. There's consistency. Yeah. 
two fingers. So there's about two fingers. Two okay. So you leave at the yeah, bottom. An inch and a half. Yeah. And what's yeah. and you're using what is that? Crab. Crab yeah. stick. Crab, Crab stick. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then you Roll push it, it upwards. Roll. So you notice there's still some a little bit of edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah. And then once you lift the other part of it and roll it up. Oh, okay. That's it. Ready? That's it. Wow. Yeah. Then just a little one last time yeah. for you have to tight. get the shape. Okay. Tight. Push these sides in. Oh wow! And there's Look your at that. Maki. And he's gonna slice that into six pieces. These are the center first. Yeah. Yeah. I did. yeah. Beautiful. Look at, and that, that would be an appetizer. Is that, oh, is that, so that's an appetizer. And usually this is served with ginger and wasabi. Oh, okay. And this is an appetizer. Yes. Okay. Wow. Look at that. It could be a main. It can be an appetizer. It can be a main course as well. Okay. Because there is rice in there, it'll keep you full. Yeah. Right. Um, right. Oh. Okay. All right. So. So that's. That. So we'll put that right here. Oh. Now we're going to do the hand roll. Yes. And wasabi and ginger, which is supposed to be plated on the side of it. Um, the ginger is used to clean your palate if okay. you're trying to taste different flavors from different fish. Um, you can get that at your local supermarket, at like an H Mart or an Asian okay. supermarket. So now here we have what the spicy it? tuna. Spicy okay, tuna. so you've yeah. got so chopped up tuna. Tuna in there. again, it's all chopped up into okay. little chunks. Um, he added uh, spicy mayo and tobiko. Okay, for yep. a little bit of texture yep. and flavor. Tobiko has like a saltiness to it. Normally, what we at a restaurant you would do is put um, tempura flakes, okay. which I, I'm sure the home cook normally doesn't want to be frying these tempura flakes at home. So what we're going to do here is actually put potato chips, and it'll provide the same type of crunch. Oh, okay, great. So yes. a little bit of rice. He's got, he's pushed it right across. On this, Jenny. Kind of almost like a triangular shape on one half of it. Oh, okay, okay. okay. He's going to add a little cucumber. Cucumber. Whatever you want to put in there. Okay, okay, is really avocado. If you like avocado, you can put avocado. avocado. Oh. Just gonna spoon a little. I say a tablespoon. Okay. Of fish. You can put more if you want. I'd probably yeah. put more myself. <laughs> I'm gonna take some potato chips. I just crumble. Crunch, them. crumble it up. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Put it right inside, and then roll it into a cone. Oh wow! Look at that. That is just amazing. And he's just going to use a little rice at the end yeah. to stick. And that's a spicy tuna hand roll. Great. Mm -hmm. so put that right here. So, and that would also be, that would also be like a main dish right. because, yeah. because it has rice in right. it. Right. Okay. The what next thing we're going to do is a different take on sushi, kind of a East meets, meets West type of thing. Okay. Um, we're going yeah. to take Spinach wrap. So a sandwich wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just and instead wrap. of the seaweed, um, we're going to use the spinach wrap. So he's slicing mango right now. That's a different kind of mango. What's that called? It's a. It's called like a Xiangya mango. You know, Xiangya. Xiangya. Edible. Uh, it's, it's from a different. Xiangya mango. Xiangya. You don't know. Is the flavor the same as the other? You know? This is actually this is sweeter. Oh, it's a sweeter. More sweet. Yeah, much yeah. sweeter. So a different I think in Asia, of... usually those type of mangoes. Oh, that's, that's a, a mango. That's mango. Yeah, it's mango. Yeah, it's mango. Yeah, mango. Yeah, it has a lot. It's more potent. Like even as he's slicing right now, you can smell mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah. In Asia, this is we. They eat this mango more than they do the one with the green. It's really sweet. You just take some rice, yeah. okay? I'll put it here in the meantime. And you just lined it right in the middle, and then pushed it down. So now you would use a little bit less rice yeah. if you if you're making that. So if you need to add more salt, it's honestly up to you. If you like rice, you can put more. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want a little bit less, this is minimal, I think. 
Okay. Right now he's adding just a crab stick salad, which is just crab sticks, which we showed earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then crab stick and a king crab meat. Mm. And king crab meat as well he added. Yeah. So king crab meat for ex extra flavor and then mm. some mayo. The, the Japanese mayo is a little bit different than the one you would get from Kraft or oh, different okay. kinds of brands. It's a little there's a little sweetness to it. Japanese mayo. Yeah, Japanese mayo. It's still egg. Um, egg and vinegar oil. Yeah. It's a little bit sweeter. And I think probably it's just the, the combination yeah. of the ingredients that makes it. It's up to you what you like to add. So we have mango and then I love avocado and he loves yeah, avocado. Yeah, so right, right, avocado yeah. I don't need well. lettuce. Yeah. Do you want yeah. a little crunchiness? Yeah, yeah, if you want a little crunch, crunch yeah. you can add some celery. Yeah, celery. Just like you would if you're assembling a, a, a wrap at home, whatever you have at home, you want to add flavor, whatever flavors that you like, yeah. feel free to put it in. Okay, everything. Just So that's that's like what you like to do at home. You know what I mean? Like whatever you have at home, you want to put in. It doesn't have to be. So you can actually make potato it. Potato chip. You put potato chips. Oh yeah, 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 that's nice. Yeah. Oh, you can make it totally vegetarian. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. we make a veg beans. vegetable maki at the yeah. restaurant, it's which is just a bunch of pickled vegetables. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. And same type of thing. So you just flip it up. You're gonna push the end of it in, and you should still have rice. Okay. Hanging on the end. 如果你他想怕爆掉，你可以这个拿一点，把那个。Oh, so he takes a little bit of rice all around all the around. edges so that later on when you wrap it around oh, yeah, it yeah. sticks. Oh, okay. Yeah, then it won't flip. So like you flip it up, so once you roll it up, the rice will stick to the roll and you keep rolling it up until... Sushi oh wow, roll. that is really pretty. And you know, that would be great for a party too, oh, right? Absolutely. Yeah. If you were if you didn't have a seaweed tape around. Uh, mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I think it's for a party, that would be awesome. This is a little oh, bit the kids, bigger. If you so want to, you know, you want the kids to see something You can healthy. cut this into yeah. more pieces. You can add some red in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If you want, you can add, yeah, if you like a little bit, want to kick it up a notch, you can add a little spicy mayo. Always popular. Oh, yeah. So we'll put that over to our dinner table here for us later. Well, today is going to be a real treat. So, do you have anything else next on the list? He wants to do one more for you. Okay. He's going to show us his amazing skills with the cucumber. Oh, again. right, 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 right. He's going to okay. do one more appetizer. Okay. Um, and what it is, it's a, cuc a very light take on sushi. Um, actually, there's no rice in this at all. Oh, okay. Um, so for those who want to cut some carbs oh, out of their yeah, diet, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this is just a cucumber appetizer. So he's going to slice like he did earlier. Uh, the cucumber is going to become the outer layer um, of the sushi. Okay. And in the middle, he's going to fill it with um, That is just amazing. Yeah, that is just amazing. Oh, I like it. So he's pressing a little. I'm really t trying to take this in. He's really he's pressing down on the cucumber as he pulls back and comes along with the knife. Okay. So he just wiped it to get some of the moisture yeah, out of it. Yeah. Now by the crab stick. And he's gonna make a crab stick naruto. At the restaurant, we yes. offer spicy tuna, salmon. It's really whatever you so want. In the like. In the you can do yeah. Okay. So at home, crab sticks are easily available. Yep. So crab sticks. You could do lobster, right? Could yeah. You do Absolutely. Lobster yeah. In there? Absolutely. Yeah. Love lobster. So the, the the good thing about sushi is you can pretty much assemble with whatever ingredients you have. Yeah. At home. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, necessarily yeah. have to be certain um, spicy tuna or fish or. Yeah. You know, like I you can do meat. Yeah. I know, know some it, people. It, put sushi meat is a real mystery to me. I knew there was rice in it, and but I never realized that it was so simple, actually. 
but, so but he's rolling master, again. master chefs like Lou here that make it, that make it look so impressive right. and almost mysterious, but deliciously so. so. <laughs> again, great for a party. Mm -hmm. And a plate. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is beautiful. Just vinegar and sugar. Oh, okay. Kind of like a sweet and sour taste. Yeah, just yeah. a little wet, like yeah, 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 yeah. sauce to it. Beautiful. And that, I think the sugar in it sort of gives it that shine, shiny glaze a little bit, looks to me. Of course, in a restaurant, you always want to take every little crumb off. Beautiful. All right, so we'll pack this here. Wow. I do have one request for you, Lou, and that is, let's see, where is it? I brought the little fruit here that I want you, I know that sometimes um, some of the garnishes that you do are really pretty to look at, so I brought, yeah. brought some fruit along and I'm going to have you, whatever uh, thing you'd want to sort of shape them into, you got your own tomatoes there as well. We have a plate for you here that you can... Display your oh look mm -hmm. at that isn't that pretty just from the orange you need to check how it how easy oh kids especially love this stuff just don't let them try because this is one sharp knife oh look at that. Mm -hmm. Now, was this, uh, Lou, was this uh, uh, the training? Did you have special training for this? Or was this sort of something that you can just, yeah, more, you know, yeah, more you work hope, on yeah. it on the job? He yeah. yeah. just experiments on his own. Just oh, watch. Okay. Yeah, watch. Yeah, yeah, you look you? for stuff online, yeah. um, see how people do it, and you just kind of. That's it easy. Oh, look oh, at wow. that. That one's really pretty. Maybe he has something up his sleeve. Okay. <laughs> Because kids love bananas and... Well, there you go. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, little mountain tops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Lou, you can come over here with us. So, today we have another um, beautiful and delicious setting of food. We want to thank um, uh, Calarisa's Farm Stand and Garden Center for providing some of the, the produce that we've used here today, the salads, the tomatoes, um, the fruit. And also we want to thank especially Lou and Elaine for Mandarin in Reading. Um, and what have we made here today? Because uh, I know this was the California monkey roll. Right. Yeah. And these were the special... Uh, spinach wrap. Spinach wrap. Sushi. And here we have the, the tuna, right? Sesame tuna. Okay, Maki. and uh, they are at the end. Naruto. With, which is the cucumber. Yep. The, the cucumber roll. And this is the... Spicy tuna hand roll. Spicy tuna hand roll. And fruits and vegetables that we cut into special uh, shapes that you can use as garnishes. Yeah, and, and the ginger dressing. And the ginger Let's dressing. Not forget about that. that. Yeah, uh, yeah, the ginger dressing was really the star of the simple ingredients that you have in your kitchen right now that you can make into, into these really spectacular so dishes. And um, so with that today, we're going to go ahead and enjoy some of this stuff. But thank you for joining us. And thank you for joining us and sharing this with thank us. Thank you for having thank us. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.